Can you guys tell me the 10 biggest box office debuts for movies ever? Oh, yeah. Opening weekends. Okay. I'll go first. Go. Avatar. Not there. The <laughs> Last Airbender. No. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Star Wars! Which one? Episode three. Force Awakens? Yes. Yeah, that's what he meant. That's one. <laughs> that's definitely what he meant. That's four. <laughs> Booyakasha. Respect the duck. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I'm the duck. How about Avengers Infinity War? <laughs> That is three. Skin me. <laughs> Boom. Hello. John Wick Chapter 4. Not there. <laughs> How about the Unaliving Squad? Not there. Okay. I'm not allowed to say that one other yeah. word, so I was like, you know, the squad with mm. Margot Robbie and them in it. Mm -hmm. And other people. Show me Lewis Pullman's Top Gun, the new Top Gun. Not there. Really? I thought that movie made a trillion, bajillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. How about the other Avengers? Endgame is number one. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, Happy Feet. Not there. Really? <laughs> Show me its spiritual sibling, March of the Penguins. No. Really? Mm. Mm. Grown Ups 2, Revenge of the Spade. Not there. Oh, man. Uh, Grown Ups 3, Schneider's Last Stand. <laughs> Not there. Really? Is Grown Ups 4, Sandler's Last Dance here? <laughs> no. Really? Wow, he did that crazy dance. Yeah. Oh, Grown Ups 5, We Will Chris Rock You? <laughs> No. Oh, man. We are skunking out. Return of the King, Lord of the Rings. Not there. That's, that's, a, that's, that's. Hmm. Any Fast and Furious make it on here? No. Okay. There's 10 of them, too. That's crazy. Is Iron Man on here? No. Oh, uh, Spider-Man. The, which one? Let me think. Through the Spider-Verse. Not that one. Spider-Man No Way Home? That's two. Number oh. two. Whoa, for 260 that. million first weekend. Ooh, uh, Minions, Rise of Gru. Not there. Really? Strong guess, though. Thanks. Ladies Ghostbuster? No. Ooh, Ocean's Ocho. No. How about The Dark Knight? Not there. What's the one, um, he's a doctor, but he's strange? Not there. Ah, okay, shoot. What's that? Jazz hands? <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's got Chris Pat, his friend's a raccoon. Oh, oh yeah, um, Galactic, <laughs> Galactic Gully Boys, yeah. Buddy, gu Buddy, gu Buddy Stars, uh, The Groot of All Evil. Is that what it's called? What is it called? Guardians of the Galaxy. There you go. Show me Guardians of the Galaxy. No, I'll bet for not. How about Captain Marvel? No. Okay. Captain America. No. Uh, Aquaman. <laughs> not there. Ant Man. No. Oh, the Thor. Not there. Boom, the hammer guy. No. No? 80 for Brady? <laughs> no. Remember the Titans? Not there. Godfather, part two. No. Forrest Gump? Mm-mm. Fantasia? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King? That's nine. <laughs> uh, um, how about some X-Men? Not there. Show me Black Panther. That is eight. Mmm, nice. Ruth Conda forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got paid to say that. <laughs> it's, it's Wakanda. The Ruth Conda's from that tweet How about Ruth Gator, Bader Ginsburg. Rest her soul. Say it. Uh, yeah, rest her soul. Damn right, buddy. I'm actually very sad right now. I'm so sad to hear this news. I buried her on the golf course. I am so sad to hear about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was a wonderful woman. Wonderful golfer, too. Only a three handicap. Is the first Avengers on here? The Avengers is seven. Wow. So there's Endgame, Infinity War, and the original are all in the top ten. We've done all these serious superhero movies. Is Deadpool on here? Not there. Ah, really? Ryan Reynolds, right? Yeah. He is disgustingly hot. <laughs> I didn't know where you were headed with that. <laughs> he is a filthy, grimy, beautiful specimen of a person. You've always said negative things about Ryan, so I'm just confused. You decided... He is a slop of sex. <laughs> okay. Big blob of beauty. Sure. Uh, Ryan, I would clean you with a sponge. Free sponge bath, I guess. <laughs> is Rogue One here? Not there. What's that? It was a Star Wars movie. Oh. Okay. Oh! Duh. Herbie fully loaded. Not there. With Lindsay Lohan? Oh, load it and lock it and shoot it. I thought that would be in there. Yeah, I thought that would be in there for sure. How about Han Solo? 
Not there. Chris Pratt's got to sell tickets somehow. Do we got Jurassic World on here? That is six. Yeah. God, that was so bad. I didn't watch it. Atrocious. Seems like it'd be really good on surround sound. You if know you what I mean? If you were like heavily sedated, it might be good. But for like anybody with an IQ over 40, right? it's like, what? Doesn't everybody have an IQ in general? It doesn't matter how old you are. You might, you might like it. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> the Last Jedi? That's five. Mm. And what's that one? It's a Star Wars movie. Oh. Uh, Cars 2. Not there. Huh. Pirates of the Caribbean? Mm mm. Green Lantern? No. That one did really bad, right? Probably. Seth Rogen's in it or something? <laughs> Flash. No. Hulk, The Incredible Hulk? Not there. Wolverine? No. Thanos' Last Snap? <laughs> no. Is that a movie? His last <laughs> what? Snap. Doesn't he snap? Snapchat? <laughs> no, he snaps. Thanos snaps? <laughs> I've never seen the movies, but I've, I, people always say, oh, the Thanos snap or something. It's going to be my last snap. I'm going to guess Gone Girl. <laughs> Not there. Captain Underpants? No. They made that a movie? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I'm just guessing superheroes. Entourage the movie's not here? No. Frontline COVID-19 workers? Not there. Again, just guessing superheroes. <laughs> um, I think we give up, right? I don't know. I don't know any more movies. I'm done. What is it? Avengers Age of Ultron. There's more Avengers. Five Avengers on there? So we have Endgame, Infinity War, the OG, and Age of Ultron. Ultron. That is like the dumbest name for sure. It doesn't matter. Anyway, those are the top 10 <laughs> biggest box office debuts for movies. And if you like this sort of content, check out Hive Mind and Hive Mind Unlimited on YouTube. Bye. Can you guys tell me the 10 best animated movies of all time according to Ranker? Ooh, let's get animated. Yep. Show me Toy Story. That's four. Show me Toy Story 2. Not there. Show me The Lion King. That is number one. I'd like to see Toy Story 3. Not there. <laughs> I've never seen it. I'd love to see it. Oh, okay. I'm going to stay with Pixar. Go Finding Nemo. That is six. Nice, Riley. I love that movie so much. It's in the running to be my favorite Pixar movie. I'm still deciding, though. I'm going to watch all of them, and then I'm going to rank them. Oh, wake up. Holy smokes. Um, bah, bah, bah. What about Snow White? No, not there. <laughs> well, in that same vein, when the snow is white, show me Frozen. Not there. Okay, I want to build a snowman. <laughs> Let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh, wow. I lost it there, sorry guys. I was never gonna be Elsa, I knew it. I wanna see Soul. Not there. How about The Incredibles? That is five. Above Finding Nemo, I will take that into consideration when making my list of Pixar movies. What about The Incredibles 2? Not there. Come on, man. <laughs> Some of these sequels are better. How about Into the Spider-Verse? That's eight. Okay. What about Childish Gambino's Lion King? Not there. Are you kidding me? It's not really like fully animated, is it? <laughs> That's how good the animation was, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, Fantasia? No. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> 2001. What about uh, Fantastic Planet? Not there. Really? A 1970s art French film? <laughs> Despicable Me. Not there. Despicable You. What about Akira? No. Oh, how about Spirited Away? Not there. What about Ghost in the Shell? Not there. So there's no adult movies on the list. Depends it's... on how you view it, you know? Mm. Sausage Party. Yeah, not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because they have sex. Well, it's funny because it's an awful movie. I remember liking it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. I saw it in theaters and like grandparents. It's the last movie they saw. <laughs> How about Tarzan? Not there. That should be on there. Yeah. That's fantastic. He's so sexy. Phil Collins or? Whoever plays Tarzan in that. Oh, it's animated, so I don't know. Nobody really play. I'm sure somebody voiced him, but Phil Collins does the music. Sure does. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> Those songs are so good. Yeah. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. Speaking of singing, let's get down to business. Give me Mulan. Not there. What? That has to be on there. That's like quintessential Disney. Oh, you know what they always say is so good? What? How to Train Your Dragon. That is nine. Oh, yeah. People do say that one's really good. 
I haven't seen it, so I'm not going to judge. You saw it, and? Didn't work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work? Like, yeah. what were you expecting it to do? Just train my dragon. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, just say he's still breathing fire. <laughs> How about Beauty and the Beast? Not there. What about Hotel for Dogs? Nope. <laughs> is that even animated? Yes. I don't think it is. Whatever. It looked like it to me. I was on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> They're decriminalized in our state. We can say that on TikTok. Okay. Well, in that case, show me Vanilla Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Could have sworn that thing was animated. I don't know. Something was moving. <laughs> What about Lego Star Wars? <laughs> Not there. That's crazy, bro. Uh, how about Little Mermaid? Not there. Second Pokemon movie? No. Okay. Cinderella? Not there. Beauty and the Beast? No. I already guessed that. Oh, you did? Yeah, Tales All This Time. It was like four guesses ago. The teacup? Yeah, be our guest. <laughs> be our guest. Okay, I'll guess something new. All right. Give me something to guess. <laughs> Wait. You took my guess. You took my guess. Um, Grant, show me Fox and the Hound. Not there. Show me Aristocats. Not there. <laughs> what the heck? Ten million and one Dalmatians. No, it's just a hundred and one. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't, numbers. Once they get more than two digits, I kind of just guess. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be ten million to me. So wait, I'm not a billionaire? No, not uh, even close. I don't even know if you're a hundred air right now. You asked me for 30 bucks for lunch. I saw a comma. Show me inside out. Not there. What about Ratatouille? <laughs> Not there. Not even pronounced like that, but that's okay. <laughs> Show me Shrek. That is seven. The number eight best comedy of all time is number seven on the animated movies list. Yeah. That makes no sense. Are you going to throw up? You look like you're going to pass out, maybe. Graham, what are we still looking for? Looking for two, three, and ten. Show me Stuart Little. Not there. Also not animated. He is animated, okay, bro. Okay, but that doesn't count as an animated movie. Hugh Laurie's in that movie. But if you take the animation out of it, it's a kid talking to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got me there. You can have a kid talking to nothing. Show me Winnie the Pooh. Not there. Is that, did they even make that a movie? Yeah. Oh. Right? What about Jackass 3D? <laughs> not there. I'm giving up on you. Uh, Monsters, Inc. That is two. Yes. Yes. I'm going to also put that in my consideration when I'm going to make the ranking of the Pixar movies. How about Crocodile Dundee? Nope. Okay. Oh, Peter Pan. Not there. What? Jaws. No. Shark Tale. Nah. Happy Feet. Not there. Show me Aladdin. That is ten. Oh, is Eight Crazy Nights on here? Not there. It's a technical foul. <laughs> a technical foul. Can you show me Paddington? Not there. What about Paddington 2? No. Marcel the Shell? No. Shrek 2? No. Is up on here? That is three. Yeah. Spoiler alert, he dies. Wait, come <laughs> on. You don't got to do that. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Why are you doing that? There's so many kids watching. Death. Last thing I'll say is I'm going to take that into consideration when making my Pixar list. <laughs> okay? All right. Those were the top 10 animated movies of all time, according to Ranker. What are the top 10 animated movies of all time, according to you? And check us out on YouTube. Hive Mind. Bye. Can you guys tell me the 10 best action movies of all time, according to IMDb? Lights. Camera. Action. <laughs> that was action. You got me. <laughs> All right, let me start this off with yeah. uh, Pulp Fiction. Not there. Wow. Is that considered like a straight action movie? I guess not, you know? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to piggyback off him, though. Okay. Give me Tarantino's best, Kill Bill 2, and as a qualifier, let's throw in Kill Bill 1 and or 3. Not there. Damn. Kill Bill 1, 2, and 3 aren't there. No. You guys are forgetting some obvious ones. Show me Hurt Locker. Not there. What the heck? <laughs> I do not understand that. Show me Die Hard. That's two. All right. There we go. It's a Christmas movie, but whatever. <laughs> it is, yeah. What about Terminator 1 and 2? That's one. Okay. Ooh. Which one? One. Right. Two is one. Two is one. Two right. is one. Yeah. I actually like the first one better. The Born Supremacy. Not there. Show me any of the John Wick movies. Not there. 
about Grindhouse? Not there. Show me a Karate Kid. Not there. <laughs> I mean, there's action in it, let's be honest. <laughs> Show me my big fat Greek wedding. What? Oh, not yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that movie. <laughs> a lot of action at a wedding. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess Wedding Crashers. No. Okay. What about The Matrix? Not there. That's 14. Oh, I was mm. going to guess that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ah, show me Lethal Weapon. Not there. Good answer. Mm. I was thinking Lethal Weapon 5, but... Yeah. <laughs> show me The Matrix's uh, less popular but more acclaimed spin-off, The Real World. Not there. I would, like, kind of like The Matrix aesthetically, but cooler. Blade. Not there. How about the most popular modern silent movie, Drive? Not there. I know it's not totally silent, but Ryan Gosling has like five lines and it's basically just a chromatics album. Yeah. Uh, let me just throw a shot in the dark here with uh, The Dark Knight. Not there. Indiana Jones count? That's five. Yeah, I mean, hey, big old rock going out of that. will get you to spring into action. <laughs> More like Harrison Board. God, I was yawning during that one. Really? Yeah, I hate it. Uh, show me Mission Impossible. That's six. Yes, Riley. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I saw Mission Impossible, maybe it was four, I don't remember which one it was, at a drive-in theater when I was 18. Yes. With a, a sweet, sweetie of mine. Yes! Hey, yeah, hey, relax. Yes! <laughs> okay. Keep going! All right. I, I thought it was like a joke. Like, I didn't understand that it was just like people dying in like 35 different ways. That's yeah. really all that happened. <laughs> one is amazing, though. Yeah, I mean, hey, I didn't yeah. see, I, I, there wasn't a plot line that I needed to follow. There's like a million movies for this, so I'll just use this umbrella term of James Bond. Not there. Damn. Speaking of a million movies, show me Fast and the Furious. Not there. Show me Wild Hogs. Hmm. Not there. Show me my parents' divorce tape. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's seven. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's not, not there. there. No, it's not. Right. Is Mad Max here? That is four. Yeah. Um. Witness me. <laughs> uh, show me Pacific Rim. Not there. It sounds so good. I mean, so the surround sound. I mean, it's yeah. just crazy. I mean, the what visuals. Sad yeah. movie. It's not really that great of a movie, but show me Watchmen. Not there. I like that movie. It was okay. What about RoboCop? Not there. Oh, mm. good answer. Shout out to Troy. What about Reservoir Dogs? Not there. Show me Kindergarten Cop? <laughs> Not there. What about Aliens? That's three. Wow. Is a movie just called Aliens? Yeah. <laughs> really? It's pretty epic. Oh. You'd like it. I don't it's think so. It's got love. It's got loss. Oh, a lot of minute. rap music. Um, gambling. Oh, um, gambling. Oh, uh... Old baseball players are in it. Love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, how old are we talking? Oh, we like we're talking 90s. Seiko? 90s. Like, steroid era, guys. Uh, I like that, but yeah. I would like to go a little further back. You okay. Know? Yeah. Clemente and folks. Roger Clemens? Roger Clemens is awesome. I mean, yeah. the ERA. I mean, he had the lowest ERA <laughs> since the Civil War. <laughs> I mean, it was unbelievable. Oh, uh, show me Little Miss Sunshine. Not there. <laughs> Isn't that like a car crash or something in that movie? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I was just, whatever, man. I haven't seen enough movies. I get it. Okay, I know there's a cop movie in this one, so I'm going to go with Narco. Not there. I'm going to stick with your theme here, Brad. Show me old hard-boiled. That's seven. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of a movie? Yeah, that's like a dad's favorite. <laughs> if your dad's like a, f a cool guy. <laughs> uh, okay. Sounds to me like the name of an egg. <laughs> <laughs> show me one of my favorite movies of all time zodiac not there oh, Ooh, i don't know if that's really an action but there's a lot of killing in it it's good and it's really really good i mean we're talking mark ruffalo jake gyllenhaal at their best ruffalo show me too young to die not so, there it sounds like an action movie so. <laughs> <laughs> oh i wish i could show it we have a model of his gun that he uses show me dirty harry that's eight. Yes. Oh, good job. Nice. There you go. Nice. Show me another Clint Eastwood one. Problem with the curve? <laughs> Not there. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Show me the uh, classic Steve Carell action movie, Get Smart. Not there. Uh, There's a Steve Carell action movie, huh? Yeah, he's like a okay. spy whiz with gadgets. Yeah, right? something like that, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's like based off of an old TV show. Show me Black Hawk Down. Not there. Black cock down. Come on, Brad. Brad, Brad. Come on. Brad. Stop. 
Stop. Stop it, Brad. Stop. Give it a rest, Brad. Speaking of a rest, show me End of Watch. Not there. Oh, great cop movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. At his best. Show me the classic animated hamster action movie, G-Force. Not there. Good guess. Good mm -hmm. guess, Brad. Speaking of great animated action movies, show me Killer Bean. Not there. What? <laughs> when he, like, busts it down oh, and the bean's, gosh. like, going in, they're like... <laughs> Earlier, somebody said something about a TV show adaptation. Did they ever make a Starsky and Hutch movie? Not there. They did, and it was bad. I think uh -huh. Owen Wilson was in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Show me Too Old to Die. Not there. Uh, yeah. That's a good, <laughs> Damn it. That's a good guess. Great movie. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my roommate Wags here, always trying to show me The Raid. Or the Raid 2. That's nine. Yes. Oh, wow. Apparently, okay. like, some of the best fighting choreography ever. He showed me the first 15 minutes countless times, and I can't make it through. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Show me Rambo. Not there. Ooh. See, that's surprising that Rambo isn't there. Yeah. Show me two middle-aged to die. Not there. <laughs> All right. Damn it. All right. All right. I, Let's think, throw the I think we're tapped. What's the last one, Grant? The last Boy Scout. With Bruce what is that? <laughs> the last Boy Scout? What is that? The last Boy Scout. Bruce Willie. All right. Those are the 10 best action movies according to IMDb. Thank you, Brad. Taste and music for being here. Everybody go subscribe to him on YouTube. We're hot, mine. You guys tell me the 10 most famous actresses in the world right now, according to Ranker. Okay, actresses. I'll start. Go ahead. Meryl Streep. Not there. Really? So this is like right now, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Audrey Hepburn's not going to be here. Correct. <laughs> was that, that, was, was that, that a half guess? guess. A half guess. <laughs> okay. uh, Get a full guess. Up. Show me Zendaya. That's five. Okay. Oh, number five. Okay. Rightfully placed. Sure. Is Scarlett Johansson on here? That's number one. Oh, yeah. Show me Angelina Jolie. That's eight. Ooh, still That's hanging on. Hanging on, yeah. Would have been four probably five years ago. Yeah. How about Margot Robbie? That's three. I am really near yeah, the top good. of the list here. Show me Emma Watson. That's two. Oh, yeah. She's mega famous, dude. Harry Potter was huge. Yeah, Hermione. Her <laughs> mm -hmm. Big success, those movies. Bad, bad writer. What about his Hermione? <laughs> don't don't I, go down this road. I'm just going to say, what about his Hermione? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence? That's four. Yeah. Oh, wow. We are good at this. Yeah. Show me another Jennifer. Aniston. That's ten. Bang! How about Miss Anne Hathaway? That's seven. Duh, of course. She's there. Princess Diaries. Um, Sharon Stone. Not there. What the? That's weird. Lily Rose Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Only three episodes in. Three episodes in. Working her way had, up had, now. Just had to, had to guess. Um, I'm walking off set if Viola Davis is not here. Not there. Okay. <laughs> that's a wrong yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. Show me Showtime Sweeney. Not the hair. <laughs> no Sydney Sweeney. No. Huh? Wow. Oh, jeez. If it were most three-pointers made one half this season. <laughs> yeah, <yes>. 13. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Grant, give me a little hint. She was the highest paid actress in the world in 2017. Is Kate Winslet here? No. Oh. What about Mila Kunis? Not there. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Kate and Kate equals H. I mean, Kate Blanchett. Not there. Baloney. Yeah. How about Sofia Vergara? Not there. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Brilliant woman. I feel like there's a Natalie we're forgetting, but... Oh, there is. Uh, maybe a Natalie Portman? Not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not now. Yeah, no. Not this moment. Had her moment, though. Oh, absolutely. Had her day. Uh, Miranda Cosgrove make the list? <laughs> <laughs> not there. I don't like the laughter there. I don't think you guys should have laughed. <laughs> What's up, Miranda? Shout out to you. Um, Grana, we'll take another hint. She is a sister to famous twin actresses. Elizabeth Olsen? That's nine. Yeah. yeah. She is, she's great. Yeah, she's really good. I didn't know she was related. That's kind of mind-boggling. You it's didn't kind, know that? It's kind of an Emilio Estevez situation, <laughs> except her name's very similar. Same still. last yeah, name. Same name, yeah. It looks similar. Kind of an Emilio Estevez situation. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, my, I don't know. Martin Sheen? Hello. Okay. <laughs> oh, duh. Show me Molly Ringwald. Not there. <laughs> I had a bad case of Molly Ringwald when I tried the wrestling team one year. Oh, yeah. It was ooh, infectious. <laughs> um, show me a close personal friend of mine, Tiffany Haddish. Not there. 
Millie Bobby Brown? Not there. Oh, I thought that was for sure it. Mm. Oh, guess her older friend who's in that, who's in the same show. Ooh, uh, yeah, isn't it her like stepmommy, Winona Ryder here? Not there. Mm. Jennifer Garner? Not there. Melissa McCarthy? No. Jessica Alba? Not there. Emma Stone? That's six. Oh. Thank you, Miss Stone. Thank you. Yes. So sorry. It took so long. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's 10 most famous actresses according to Ranker. So you guys tell me the 10 most famous actors in the world right now. Ooh, right now. Go ahead. Most famous actors right now. Show me Tom Holland. Not there. <laughs> okay. Interesting. He's too small. Yeah. Can I do a twofer? I mean, what? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. That's seven. Yeah, hot. Now, some would be tempted to do another Hemsworth here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's five. Four guys more famous than Dwayne right now? This was my other uh, one for the two first. Show me the other Chris. Chris Evans. Not there. Chris Evans isn't there. I'll stay on the Chris train. Go. Chris Pratt. Not there. So oh, good looking and really? not that talented. Very good looking, not super talented, was funny on Parks and Rec, <sighs> seems to be a Republican. Oh, speaking of Parks and Rec, is Aziz Ansari on here? No. Mmm, that seems odd, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah. It just makes Terrible total, actor. Makes total sense. Yeah. Who would cast their parents in their own show? Is Kevin Hart on here? No. <laughs> he does a lot of movies. He I don't, does. He, I don't know. Uh, let's keep it in the heart throbs, uh, Pedro Pascal. That's three. Yeah. Oh. He is so, man, he is hot, hot, hot right now. Yeah. Uh, shall we Chief Hopper, David Harbour? <laughs> Not there. I don't know. Just thinking Netflix. Right, right. <laughs> Just thinking of Netflix, you know. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's two. I love saying his name. Oh, then I know number one. Will Ferrell. Not there. <laughs> oh, man. I am <laughs> off today, guys. I do not know. Mark Wahlberg here? No. Yeah. Stay prayed up. Brad Pitt? No. Robert Downey Jr.? That's number one. Number one. Really? What? If, it's almost like, what have you done for me lately? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Iron Man. Ten years ago, yeah. Yeah. Grant, uh, show me Abel Tesfe, better known as The Weeknd. <laughs> Not there. Ted DeRose. Have you seen The Idol? <laughs> he's got Biggest a big, show. Yeah, he's got a big fat tongue, too. Uh, yeah, he, he's got a big fat tongue. Give me a hint, Grant. Um, Big court case. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter. No. Oh! <laughs> wow. Interesting. I know he got a bunch of weapons charges. That's why I guess that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He had that stick on him. And, and it wasn't a wand. Public indecency as well. Yeah. At the same time, yeah, he, he was, was wielding. Yeah. That's what they say. He also, in an interview, once said that he has a hamster penis. A tiny little penis. It yeah. looks like a hamster or it's the size of a hamster's. Gotta ask Daniel. Don't right. ask me. Grant, show me Ryan Reynolds. That's 10. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Deadpool owns a soccer team with Mac from Always Sunny. Really popping off right now, yeah. That's yeah, going to get you on the list. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Chuck. That was Dane Cook. That's who I, was, yeah, I always get them mixed up. <laughs> I guess Dane Cook. No. Okay. Show me Daniel Day-Lewis. Not there. Wow. Mm. What about Tom Cruise? Not there. What? How about Johnny Depp? That's four. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about Clooney? No. George Clooney. No. <laughs> no? Casamigos? No. Uh, <sighs> Timothy Chalamet? That's nine. Mm. Surprised it took us so long. I guess Tom Holland, his uglier counterpart. Yeah. Couldn't think of Timmy. Oh, show me Matthew Broderick. Not there. What? He had his big day off. Yeah, Ferris Bueller's big day off. Is Morgan Freeman still alive? <laughs> That's number eight. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I don't keep up with the celebrity gossip. Right, right. I don't know who's alive, who's passed. And to me, this big thing always keeps going on. No matter yeah. What, you know what I mean? Yeah. How about Denzel Washington? Not there. Oh, really? How about our next president, Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Not there. Baloney. This one's a little weird because, eh, I don't know. He was in Cats. Give me James Corden. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Um, give me his uglier counterpart, Frank Caliendo. Not there. Ah, uh, he's great at impressions, though. Well, this one's kind of weird, but uh, he was in Cats. Show me Jason Derulo. Mm. 
Not there. Show me Will the Till Smith. That's six. Oh, yeah, Will Smith. Yeah. Did you know that he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars? That's what I'm saying. I'm not really up on the gossip. I did not. It just happened. Was he good? It's up for debate. Some people say that it was completely unacceptable. Was he good at the slap, though? Was it a good slap? Oh, it was a good slap. Nice. Some say it was the slap heard around the world. Wow. Didn't make it to my ears. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs> Tell me the 10 best film actors in history, according to Ranker. Yes. Oh, yeah, easily. No problem. I'll go first. Daniel Day-Lewis. That's number three. Yes. Show me Paul Dano. Not there. Paul Dano's not on the list? Why would Paul Dano be on the list? Because he's a little sniveling freak. <laughs> and he played uh, the guy in The Beach Boy. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> not there. Don't laugh at that. I'm mad at both of you for laughing at that. <laughs> he he did get ripped for that one. The new one, Southpaw or something? Oh, Maybe yeah. that's old. It was like five <laughs> that's years ago. Like, I don't know. That was a long time ago. Uh, he, he's got a new one where he's a UFC fighter, but he's he's Donnie Darko. Meryl Streep. Not there. What on earth? Uh, how about Morgan Freeman? That is number eight. Wow, nice. Okay. That was questionable. Um, Al Pacino. That's seven. Robert De Niro. That's six. Knock out the gangsters. Uh, Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Ah, bummer. Show me Steve Carell. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> really? Even after Dan in real life? <laughs> uh, I'm going to need to see Samuel L. Jackson. Not there. That is, come on. Yeah, I mean, what the <laughs> hell? Are you kidding me with that? Might be early. Show me Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Not there. Oh, my gosh. Might be late. Show me Jack Nicholson. That's 10. You're damn right it is. Is Heath Ledger on here? No. Mm. Denzel Washington make an appearance? That's number one. Okay. Oh, number one, yeah. Great batting average. I mean, he really does not. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't miss. miss. <laughs> Denzel does not miss. Deja vu, still pretty good. Yeah. Speaking of people who don't miss, Will Ferrell? Hmm. Not there. Show me my goat, Leo. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> yeah. but Leo's number two, huh? Show me my goat, Justin Long. Not there. Give it a year or two. Mm -hmm. Give it a year or two. He will get his flowers. Yep. Show me Robin Williams. That's four. Wow. Mrs. Doubtfire was a masterful performance. <laughs> yeah, masterpiece. I, I like Flubber, personally. <laughs> yeah. How about Brad Pitt? Not there. Oh, it's not like a hottest guy list, so. Well, for guessing ugly people, show me Matt Damon. Not there. Mm. Thank God. Switching gears to hot guys again, Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Not there. Some money, baby. Come on. <laughs> maybe his uh, compadre, John Favreau? Not there. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe his compadre, Oh Wilson. <laughs> no. Bummer. Okay. Show me Adrian Brody. Not there. Mm. Youngest Oscar winner of all time. Nicolas Cage. Not there. Mm. Strong guess, though. Great guess. Come on. Show me Sir Anthony Hopkins. That is five. <laughs> like I'm a God-fearing man on a hayride, show me Christian Bale. Not there. Ooh. Is Tom Hardy on this list? No. Okay. Twilight star Robert Pattinson. Not there. <sighs> you should get one just for being good time. I feel like they're favoring old, old bastards. Uh, show me Michael Caine. Not there. We just guessed a lot of Batmans. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that was weird. Just kind of went through Tom Hardy, Christian Bale. <laughs> Robert Pattinson? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Uh, show me Clooney. Not there. Oh. I was just sticking with the Batman thing. Yeah. He was Batman once. Um, kind of my personal Batman. Daniel Craig? <laughs> no. Ah. Show me Pratt. Chris Pratt. Not there. <laughs> Show me uh, Andrew Garfield, not the cat. No. What? Oh, uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> not there. Man. Don Cheadle? No. <sighs> Show me Chip Gringis? <laughs> no. Really? Okay. I mean, his transition from stand-up comedy into the film world was... Unbelievable, but whatever. So true, man. Yeah. Gary Oldman? That is nine. Oh, mama. Gary Oldman? Yeah. Wow, okay. He's a pro. All right, so those are the ten best actors in film, according to <laughs> Ranker. It's a bad list. Sorry, yeah. guys. <laughs> Comment your real list yeah. down below. Say it. Can you guys tell me the ten most popular movies watched on airplanes, according to Business Insider? <laughs> Uh, yes. Why is Business Insider doing this? Somebody's been inside other people's business. You know? <laughs> what other people watch on a plane is their business. And everyone behind them. Yeah. Show me John Wick. Not there. Oh, I really thought that was going to be it. I don't think you're going to like my strategy for this, but show me Flight. 
Not there. Okay. Show me Fast and Furious. Not there. Show me Coco. That's three. You're lying. That's three. Coco. <laughs> that was a total joke. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Coco. <laughs> I am going to use this guess right here, and I'm going to need you to just go with me here, Grant. This is going to be a blanket guess for all of these movies. I'm guessing Spider-Man. Not there. I'll go ahead and guess Batman. Not there. Okay. And I'll go ahead and guess Failure to Launch. Not there. Nice yeah. guess. Thanks. How about Con Air? No. Uh, how about Sleepless in Seattle? <laughs> no. Nice. Lost in Translation? No. Uh, Wizard of Oz? Not there. Terminal? No. Oh. Harry Potter? <laughs> Not there. Lord of the Tings? <laughs> <laughs> Not Crazy. there. Inside Out? Not there. Hereditary? <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Incredibles? Not there. Did they make a sequel to Coco? No. No. You said that like I shouldn't have asked. Shouldn't have. Really? It's a perfect ending. Okay. How about Up? Not there. That seems like fitting. <laughs> How about Airplane? Not there. Oh. Two on the nose. What about the Entourage movie with Emily Ratajkowski? Not there. Sorry. How about The Other Guys? Not there. How about Knives Out? Not there. What about The Thing? Not there. Is that the Fantastic Four guy? No. Oh. I mean, that's his name, is The Thing. Okay. How about Daddy's Home? Not there. What about its more popular sequel, Daddy's Home 2? <laughs> that's four. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sense. How about Titanic? Not there. How about Silent Hill? Not there. 3D? No. Not even the 3D version? Mm-mm. How about Avengers? That's eight, Infinity War. Ah, okay, nice. Nice. What about In Cold Blood? Not there. What about Spring Breakers? Not there. My favorite Harmony Korine movie, Trash Humpers. Not there. Mm. How about Ant-Man? <laughs> Not there. Nice. What about Good Luck Chuck? Not there. Awesome movie. Awesome from start to finish. Yeah. Cinema. <laughs> How about Black Panther? That's number one. Oh, number one. Number one, wow. I feel like a lot of people were like, I should have seen that. And, and then they watched it they on the airplane. didn't see it, and they're just taking care of business while mm -hmm. they're on the plane, you know? How about Avatar? Not there. How about Step Brothers? Not there. Do the right thing? Not there. Okay. Another blanket guess. Show me Mission Impossible. Not there. Hmm. What about Top Gun? Not there. I'll follow the Tom Cruise method. How about Risky Business? Not there. Jerry Maguire? Not there. Forrest Gump? Not there. Eyes Wide Shut? No. Vanilla Sky? Not there. The Color of Money? Not there. Obvious one. We need to talk about Kevin. Not there. Good mm -hmm. film. About one of my favorite movies of all time, Jumanji. That is six. Yeah. Oh. Jumanji. Which one? Aren't there like three of them? It's the newest one with uh, Dwayne. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. How about Ferris Bueller's Big Day Off? <laughs> Not there. <laughs> How about Loose Change? Not there. How about Milk? <laughs> Not there. Great movie. Yeah. Any Sean Penn? No. What about Precious? Not there. You know, nothing calms the nerves on a flight. Like the power of music. Show me the greatest showman. That is seven. Oh, yeah. Never seen it. My mom loves that movie. Oh, loves. My aunt, particularly, really liked how Hugh Jackman looked in it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Hustle and Flow? Not there. What about La La Land? Not there. I'm just kind of on music movies now. Yeah. Fan of the Opera? Not there. About the Wiz, <laughs> no. Mm. Just got me thinking. When they do the Billy Joel biopic, they're gonna call it Piano Man, right? I mean, absolutely. I think they, <laughs> didn't they already do that? No, he's uh, alive. They do. Well, they do biopics for alive people. Not good ones. Yeah, that's true. Speaking of which, show me Rocket Man. <laughs> Not there. How about Across the Universe? No. It's the one where the kid plays the guitar like this. 
Bridge to Terry Bithia. No. No, uh, August Rush. Yes, <laughs> August Rush. Not there. How about Rudy? <laughs> Not there. Oh. Any given Sunday. No. Win the Super Bowl and drive off in a Hyundai. I didn't win the Super Bowl, but I do drive a Hyundai. You do. So I got half that equation figured out. That's nice, man. How about nocturnal animals? <gasps> Not there. Oh, good night, good what a film. Night. What a film, right? What about back on the cruise train? What about American Made? That's two. It's <laughs> awesome. American Made? It's me, man. I'm that whole equation. You're a maid? My apartment is dirty. You want to yeah. come over? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to like what I'm wearing, though. Just overalls. Rockstar made. How about Mr. Gulliver's Travels? Not there. <laughs> Journey to the Center of the Earth. No. I had a terrible experience with that movie. Mm -hmm. well, it was not in the right frame of mind. Mm, I know what that means. Yeah, it was cuckoo clocked. Nice. Show me National Treasure. Not there. Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Not there. Uh, we're, we're like low-key the Da Vinci twins of TikTok. Don't say that ever again. Da Vinci. Right? We're not twins. We should get our hair done <laughs> like that. We should get our hair all done up. Can we give up on this list? I would like to guess one more. Go ahead. That's okay. Please. The Shirley Temple movie where she sings animal crackers in my soup. <laughs> not there. <laughs> ah. Alright, fine. What's left, Grant? Ten is Darkest Hour. Nine is Book Club. And five is All the Money in the World. What? This was bunk. I mean, I think that's just because people <laughs> watch bunk movies. On <laughs> that's airplanes. true, I guess. You know? I'm just shocked that John Wick wasn't on there. Yeah, is there data on this, though? There were like eight people on my flight <laughs> watching John Wick. And two others that told me on their other flights. They're they like, watch. you know, I finally got a chance to watch John Wick. <laughs> movie. Pretty yeah. badass. <laughs> anyway, those are the ten most watched movies on airplanes, according to Business Insider. Uh, tell us any story, flight stories you have yeah. in the comments. And we are Hive Mind on YouTube. Bye. You guys tell me the ten best comedy movies of all time, according to Ranker. Oh, yes, I would love to. Uh, the Mask. Not there. Jim Carrey's The Mask? Oh, <laughs> so scary. I felt like we were living in that movie for a few years there. <laughs> Caddyshack. That's four. Yeah. I know, it's going to skew old, I think. No, 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 Okay, skewing old. Let's go with, like, some Mel Brooks. Let's show me Blazing Saddles. That's number one. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves that one. What in the wide world of sports is going on here? And then a bunch of racist stuff. Uh, how about Airplane? That's three. Okay. We're on fire. Yeah, we sure are. Hello. There's got to be a National Lampoon's on here. Maybe like Christmas Vacation. That's two. It is Christmas Vacation, too? That's two. Yeah. Chevy I mean, Chase. That's the one. That's yeah. the one that everybody talks about. Talk about racism. All right. Still thinking old classics. Let's go with Bridesmaids. Not there. Huh? Oh, let's go even further back. Show me Super Bad. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mel Brooks again? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How about Groundhog's Day? Not there. Okay. Maybe Basketball? Not there. <laughs> that movie. That's a classic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, show me one that's in my personal top five. How about Hot Rod? Not there. Really? Too niche. Are we sure? He double checked. Okay. Um, show me one that's more of a romance to me, but some people get a kick out of it. Shrek? That's eight. Yes. Shrek's on there. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that is, I mean, fantastic movie. He's green, and that's what's funny. I think, yeah, that's the part that makes me laugh, at least. <laughs> Look at him, he's green. It's so funny. Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta have some Vince Owen action in here. I'm gonna go with Wedding Crashers. Not there. <sighs> um, Vince is in it. Show me Anchorman. Not there. Ooh. How about The Hangover? Not there. The Hangover Part 2? No. The Hangover 3, Honeymoon? No. <laughs> Is it Deadpool? That's 10. Deadpool's the 10th, 10th funniest movie of all time. Yeah, I mean, that's just not true. Is that Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. Nothing funny about him, besides his acting. And that he's married to Blake Lively, and Blake is a boy's name. That's not funny. Funny to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like there's got to be a Will Ferrell, and I feel like, I mean, Elf? Is Elf on here? No. 
nothing funny about Christmas. It's a pagan holiday. It's not a pagan. It's like a, it's a Christian holiday. Look it up, buddy. Do your research. Is Coneheads on here? No. Oh. What about Scary Movie 3? Not there. That's the one where they pee out of their fingers, and I feel like they should kind of rethink the list. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Show me space balls. That's nine. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen it because it's funny. It is a funny movie, though. Come on. Have you ever seen it? Yes, I've seen it. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's, I guess. Show me Austin Powers. Not there. Oh, really? Ooh, show me the Titanic. Not there. <laughs> what? There's no room on the door. <laughs> it's not, that's not a comedy, man. It's, it's not... funny because he's poor and he dies at the end. <laughs> that's not, that's not. And she lives. She's talking to the submarine people like, oh, he really rocked my britches. <laughs> There's Leonardo to the That's so hilarious. He dangles her off the boat, too, in the one scene. That's, he's not dangling her. He's <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not what he's doing. Yeah. It's like a romantic thing. He's from, he says he's king of the world or whatever. All right, Elf wasn't here. Show me Step Brothers. That's six. Yes. Help me, Step Bro. No, that's, that's not. That's John C. Riley says, no, Joe? No, it's in not. One scene? Uh-uh. Oh, I love that It's stuff, a different, man. different love one that, that you watched. How about Con Air? Not there. Really? How about Office Space? Not there. Too dry. Yeah, but some people say that's the best comedy ever made. That is good. Grant Ace Ventura here? No. I agree Jim Carrey's probably on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, show me the new season of The Price is Right. Not there. Wrong Carrey. Oh, Carrey. That's, that's more of a horror movie, right? Is it a European gigolo? Not there. <clears throat> ah, fun with Dick and Jane. Not there. Ah, uh, yeah. The movie was terrible. So yes, it makes it was. sense that it wouldn't be on there. Oh, <laughs> show me Vanilla Sky. Not there. <laughs> What's well, real? It's classic. It's not funny. It's like a two hour funny. bit. There's nothing funny about <laughs> Penelope Cruz? Come on. Uh, show me what some people call our show, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> That's seven. <laughs> That's really <laughs> seven. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This list is pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it has the old classics on there, but as far as new movies go, I'll take Step Brothers and Shrek and then the rest, whatever. Give me Dumb and Dumber, 20 times over, with Spaceballs playing at the same time. All right, let us know what your favorite comedy movies of all time are and what else we should do, and we're Hive Mind. Look us up on YouTube. Check it out. You guys, some of the 10 best horror movies of all time, according to Ranker. <laughs> okay. Uh, you start. All right. Oh, shoot. What's a scary movie? Um, Poltergeist. Not there. That's a scary one. It is, but it's such a weird... The whole table's open. Yeah, I don't know. How about The Shining? That's four. Okay. Come to play, Savage. I'm sorry. <laughs> Halloween. That's five. Nice. If you laugh, you were ready to laugh. I hate making that, but yeah. that's, that's on there. I thought you were just guessing the holiday. I forgot there was a movie. <laughs> Last <laughs> Halloween was super scary. <laughs> the trick-or-treaters um, were, <laughs> were dressed up as cats and Fortnite characters. They, they were emoting on my front porch. It was awful. Uh, show me The Exorcist. That's two. Yes! Uh, how about Babadook? <laughs> Not there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Babadook, yeah. yeah. It's a manifestation of grief. Sorry to spoil it. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street? That's six. Thank you. You're welcome. Pitching a perfect game right now. Uh, what's the new one with the peanut butter? Peanuts or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a family or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, you definitely know what I'm talking it about. It sounds scary to you, you little allergic freak. Well, yeah, but that's what everybody always says, is that I shouldn't see that movie because peanut allergies play a part in the, in the movie. You're it's... talking about Charlie Brown Halloween? No, that's the Peanuts, and I see where you drew that line, uh, but no, okay. I'm legitimately thinking of a uh, blockbuster horror movie. I know the one you're thinking of. What is it? I think you're thinking of Hereditary. Yeah, Hereditary. Not there. Nah. Show me Scream. Not there. How about Day of the Dead? Not there. Is that something? I don't know. <laughs> um, how about The Omen? Not there. Ah! <laughs> how about The Ring? No. What the? <laughs> We've hit a cold spell. Let me see. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's eight. A lot of syllables. Such a cool phrase, though. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> it it is. really paints a picture. I haven't seen the movie, but... And his name's Leatherface. I was almost going to say that, and then I thought that it would sound insensitive if that wasn't the name of the character. 
My Aunt Trish has a leather face. No, yeah, see, you're not supposed to say, you can't say stuff like that. Well, she spent too much time in Palm Beach. I She's mean, all burnt up like a crisp. She lives in Palm Beach. Boca. How about the exorcism of Emily Rose? Not there. <laughs> How about like the first insidious? Not there. Yeah. How about one shot right here in Detroit, Michigan? It follows. <sighs> not there. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino said that movie was perfect except for one scene. The sex scene? I don't remember which scene he said, but for what it's worth, he's Quentin Tarantino, so. That guy <laughs> loves feet. It probably just wasn't there with enough feet. That's what I'm saying. Idea, yeah. Is Psycho on here? That's seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's from that? Yeah, the Bates Motel. Oh. He kills his mommy. <laughs> Show me Don't Look Up. Not there. The heck, I mean, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Because the thing is, people don't know, but it's actually about the pandemic. It seems like it's about an asteroid about to hit it, but it's, it's about the pandemic if you really read into it, and that is scary. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. How about birds? <laughs> Not there. Oh, Hitchcock. Yeah, I had to watch that one in school. Ooh, Project X. Not there. I need help here finishing this. And you seem to be kind of goofing and gaffing off. Do you think I'm really goofing off, or do you think I'm just scared of my party getting busted? Is Silence of the Lambs here? That's number one. Nah. It's more of like a detective thriller, but he do be eating people and he rubs himself all up. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Ooh, what about Freddy versus Jason? Not there. <laughs> Great, one of the best sequels. It's a like good cross-universe movie. Yeah. They like chop each other's heads off at the end. They should do a horror movie Avengers Yes. It's like Freddy, Jason, the Baba Duke, uh, the twins from The Shining, Leatherface. Yeah. All of them all in one movie. That'd oh be my awesome. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Is Bill Hader's It here? That is 10. I'm assuming it's the old one, but. Yeah, it's probably not the new one. <laughs> that one sucks. What's the one with the fog? Is it The Village? Not there. Is that a horror movie? I think you're thinking of The Mist. Uh, is that what it mm. is? It is Stephen King. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. The Village is M. Night Shyamalan's. Ah, who cares? Is Midsommar on the list? No. Yeah. How about Funny Games? Not there. 90s movie that they did a shot-for-shot -shot remake of 10 years later. Nice. It's a good movie. How about Cannibal Holocaust? <laughs> Not there. Ah, that's the one where everybody actually died during the filming. Really? There's yeah. a movie like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Supposedly. Okay, it's easy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's scary. Yeah, well, I don't do you don't have to. Okay, yeah. How about signs? Not there. Awesome movie. Isn't there a part though where one of the people is playing an alien, like their their shoe, like is sticking out of the the alien outfit? Yeah, that's funny. To this day, I still keep a bunch of half empty water bottles around for that exact reason. Yep. Is like Predator on here? No. Ah. Alien. <laughs> That's nine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. A little, little soft though. Okay. I feel touchy today, huh? Easy. It's paranormal activity here. Not there. Mm. Is, is the hills have eyes here? <laughs> not there. I liked that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I haven't seen it. That one in Wrong Turn, like real creepy hillbilly kind of mutants. That shit was cool. Is the witch here? Not there. Ugh. Uh, I'm going to reprise a guess from the comedy video that we did and guess Scary Movie 3. <laughs> Not there. They piss out of their fingers. I remember, man. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Oh, show me the Unfriended series. Not there. Gosh. Uh, I'm going to go with the, the Jim Carrey Hotel one. Is that called 23? Not there. Or room 13 or something. Ooh. Whatever it is. Yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. Show me The Conjuring. That's three. Oh, yeah, The Conjuring. See what I did there? I, no, I thought you were whipping up in the kitchen. It was a bit of a celebration, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey. All right, well, those are the 10 best horror movies of all time. Let us know what your favorites are down in the comments. And check us out on YouTube, Hive Mind. I'm bad like the Barbie. <laughs> you guys tell me the 10 best romantic movies of all time, according to Ranker. Ooh. Can I go first? No, I'm going to go first. Okay, you can go first. No, I'm gonna go first. Titanic. That's one. He dies at the end. Why do you- All of them <laughs> do. I know, I know, but why do you- Not all of them. They, 330 survived. So they say. You wanna know something crazy? I was researching Titanic the other day. Because I tweeted, no one will say it, so I will. 
Titanic would have been better if there were sharks in it, which is just true. Like as a movie, like if there were sharks attacking all the people that fell off the boat, whatever, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter. I, I tweeted that and I was like researching to make sure there weren't sharks in the movie and there weren't. But then I read about the casting of Titanic. Jared Leto was supposed to play Leonardo DiCaprio's part, but refused to audition. Mm -hmm. Do you understand how different life would be if Jared Leto played that role? <laughs> Maybe. Well, Jared Leto's life would for sure be different. He'd probably be better. His first big break, other than 30 Seconds to Mars, was getting his face bashed to a pulp in Fight Club. <laughs> Instead, he would have been, like, he might have been nominated for an, an, an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> wild. Whatever, show me the notebook. That's two. Oh. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. First time I watched that movie, Sunrise in Nice, France. Wow. After staying up all night partying, watched it with people I met that night. That must have been nice. It wasn't. Movie sucks. I wish I could take back time. Oh. I wish I could have that time back and keep partying. Okay. Grin is gone with the wind here. That's eight. How about when Harry met Sally? Not there. Such a good one. Is the great Gadsby here? Not there. Oh, there is just something about Mary. Not there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, a beautiful love triangle. Show me Vanilla Sky. Not there. <laughs> I'm always going to guess We got to stop guessing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's about love, I think. Oh, beautiful love triangle. Show me failure to launch. Not there. <laughs> Is Jerry Maguire here, Grant? Not there. Uh, how about, can I do, I'm going to do a two for guess if that's all right. Please. I'm going to do uh, no strings attached and friends with benefits. Both not there. Okay, that's Mila Kunis, I believe, is in both of those. One of them with her betrothed, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. And the other one with Justin Timberlake. Nice. Oh, the one with Timberlake, they got some, they got a hell of chemistry. Yeah. They, I mean, obviously, she had more chemistry with Ashton. Is Phantom of the Opera here, Grant? Not there. I'm going to go with Casablanca. That's four. Yeah. Old as all hell. I haven't even seen it. That's how old it is. <laughs> what about Breakfast at Tiffany's? Not there. I said, what about... Breakfast at Tiffany's. How about Pride and Prejudice? Not there. Aww. What about the one with Margot Robbie and Will Smith? You remember that where they're like criminals and scammers? On a living squad. And they were like <laughs> low-key messing around together at that time? I do remember that. I remember the photo booth pictures more than the movie. I don't even know the name of the movie. Movie is rock and roll music. It is good. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Sure. They have undeniable chemistry on screen. <laughs> I don't even like thinking about it. <laughs> I wish he would divorce Jada. Oh my gosh. And I wish Margot would love herself so she could love someone else. Breakfast Club. Not there. <sighs> Not really a romance. I mean, there's romance in it. The goth girl gets all dolled up. Hitch. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you had that one. Me too, dog. Pretty in Pink. Not there. Good guess, though, dog. Thanks, dog. What about American Pie? Not there. I'm going to keep guessing that, like, era of movies, because there's got to be one in the 80s. Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Not there. It's not really romantic that much. I don't know. Oh, what about Dirty Dance? Not there. Oh, Dirty Dancing. Yeah. yeah. What about Ghost? That's 10. Patrick oh, Swayze's yeah. clay ghost member. Yep, I know. Hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> easy, easy, yep, so easy now. Just mold that. Yeah. Can you do this on TikTok? Yeah, it's clay. You're at the. What is <laughs> this is how clay? you mold clay. <laughs> yeah, I think you can do that. I guess we'll see. Is Midnight in Paris with Owen Wilson here? Not there. That's not. <laughs> I don't know if that would be considered super romantic. What? He cheats on his rich girlfriend. <laughs> They're like about to get married and then he cheats on her with Salvador Dali. Yeah, like, whatever. <laughs> Salvador Dali spits in his mouth and he says, holy smokes, I didn't think I'd like that that much. Show me one more of those big melting clocks of yours. <laughs> Show me that big melting clock, Salvador. <laughs> what about that melting clock of yours? <laughs> How about Romeo plus Juliet? Not there. The one with Leonardo DiCaprio and they have guns. It's awesome. <laughs> Is any of the Linklater trilogy, like After Midnight, Before Sunrise, any of those three in there? Before Sunrise is nine. Oh, Godbuster. I don't think two of those are romances either. I think only one of them is, and the other ones are karate movies. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I haven't seen a cooking them. film? I haven't seen any of them, so I don't know. One's just him reading Sky Mall. What? <laughs> are you doing this? Just making sure there's someone in there. 
I just haven't seen those movies. I know that they're very good, apparently. I tell people I've seen them, just so they think I have feelings. You sort that out. Uh, I'm going to guess Princess Bride. Not there. Really? It has bride in the name. It's supposed to be romantic, I know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's more funny than anything, but it's also romantic, because he's like, as you wish. <laughs> and then the other guy goes, inconceivable, and Andre the Giant's in it, and that's just heartwarming. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Andre the Giant. You were giant. Past lives in here? Not there. Oh, uh, show me Shrek. And <laughs> Not there. No. Let's count. No. Is like 16 candles here? Not there. Oh, that's a great movie. Uh, is it? Yeah. Never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Fantastic movie. What about uh, The Virgin Suicides? Not there. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's I not, it's not super... a romance. <laughs> nah, not really. Just... Three sisters kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> never even do it, you know, except for one. <laughs> one She's, of them does it. She yeah. does it a lot, too. One of them does it way too much. She's a bit of a floozy. That's what they'd say, not me. All know. right. It's best, in, best of their souls, you know. Set in Gross Point. Gross Point, Michigan, yeah. <laughs> Break down. Is Say Anything here? That is seven. Mm. Oh, this list is so hard. Uh, Alive with the glory of love. That's the band say anything. Yeah, I got it. They are good. <laughs> they are pretty good. They were awesome. Okay, give me my Aunt Jill's favorite movie, Roman Holiday. That is five. Wow. <laughs> really? Shut up, Jill. Yeah, she <laughs> loves those romantic flicks. I mean, oh my gosh. Bottle of wine. And she loves... Don't even get me started. Don't get you started. Bottle of red. Oh, no, not like that. Bottle of white. Saying your Aunt Jill <laughs> All depends upon your appetite. Can we throw in the towel on this? I got no more guesses. I'll meet you anytime you want at your Italian restaurant. That's a Roman holiday for me, the Italian restaurant with my sweetie. My sweet, sweet, sweetie. I do not have a girlfriend. Yeah, tell me the rest. What's the last What's two? The rest? Six as it happened one night. It's a 1930s movie. Shout out the 30s. And the other one is An Affair to Remember. <laughs> oh, I've heard of that one. Yeah, An Affair to Remember. Right? Yeah, I've heard of that one. And I'd actually give it a three out of five on the letterbox. I wouldn't rate it. Because it's not in color. <laughs> All right. Well, those were the 10 best romantic movies according to Ranker. Let us know what you want us to do next and what really gets your romantic rocks off. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs>